Over there. I was at him right here. It's okay. Practice makes perfect. Ah, you guys smell that? It's October 1st. That means it's deer season here in Iowa. But uh, yeah, welcome back to another video. Tomorrow is our first hunt. Uh, we're just shooting real quick. We just got back and checking some cameras. We didn't get too much deer on camera. I only had it out there for about a week, but we had uh, one small buck and a one doe, and they were in the afternoon. But we're gonna go there in the morning because where I had the camera was kind of in a tight spot. So I, I think there's deer around it. They just didn't walk in front of the camera. We're gonna do some shooting here real quick. Buck James just shooting. We got Buck James set up on a on a bow, but on Wednesday, yeah. not Tuesday. But oh. yeah, everything on this bow is free. It's just old old stuff that we used to have, even the arrows. Yeah. And he's shooting good at 20. Yeah. But we just gotta work on his uh, res residency, and then uh, we should be able to get him on a deer this uh, this year, hopefully, if everything goes to plan. It should be. He's been he's been back in Iowa for about almost four years now, so it should go through. Um, but yeah, I just want to shoot my bow with the broadheads just to make sure everything's all good. I've already done that already, but just to make sure just because we're going out tomorrow. Buck James is going with me. This is, this is gonna be a second time in the stand. Yeah. But hopefully we get something. And he's gonna be behind the camera too, so. Should be a, should be a good video because it's deer season. Gonna use this uh, <laughs> broadhead thing. Okie dokie. I think we're, uh, we're good. It is seven o'clock, it's officially shooting time. Me and Buck James actually thought we could sleep in a little bit because we set it up last night. We got in kind of late, but it was so dark. But ran into a couple hunters at the parking lot, and they, but they're way over there for disabled hunting. Um, you can actually see a lot over here. Last night I thought we couldn't see anything, but you can actually see there, there, and there. So when you when I stop, mm -hmm. I try to like kind of almost sound like a deer. You can't oh you can't like completely sound like one, but like if you just like run like run through and stomping and whatever, then like obviously you're gonna spook. Mm -hmm. But there's some times where like I'll walk and I'll just stop and like, like how deer would. yeah and just stop moving, just listen. And you'll hear like sometimes like I'll see a deer like or I hear them and then like they'll walk up and they'll peek over, and they'll be right there. Yeah. And then they'll see you, like they'll obviously spook, but they're not gonna blow because like, they just seen you. They don't know what you are. So you, that's a good thing. And then another thing is like during this time of year, acorns drop and like whenever a tree is dropping acorns, it's like perfect. Cause if you can get sub there, like over the acorns, you can almost always see a deer cause they'll come in at night and eat it or in the morning. So like you, like it sounds literally like sticks falling from trees. Just... It is October 10th. We're at our afternoon hunt. We've been out a handful of times, everyone in the group. But I haven't really had much luck. Uh, we're trying a new spot, sorta. Um, never, never hunted here in particular, but uh, the season so far has been slow, but minimal deer and the stands. It's been, it's been cold mornings, warm days, and then cooler nights. But. I had a trail camera here actually and had a decent amount of deer walk through here uh, in the afternoon so we're going to see if we can sit and see something. Uh, I got Buck Jane behind the camera. This is his first year bow hunting and today's a really special day because he got his residency for Iowa today so he can actually buy tags and bow hunt so we're going to see if we can get Buck Jane on a deer but I got to find him first. But it's uh, 79 degrees really really warm so we're thinking we'll probably see deer uh, probably later 
nothing spooky, anything walking in. We were really quiet and then just kind of look around and give book Jim the rundown of how I usually look for things and whatnot. But we're tucked up right pretty close to bedding, we believe. Or if you think they're coming from these hardwoods right here to my left, they're coming through this way because there's just tons of trails and beds around right in front of me. We were thinking they're walking through here and maybe getting some water or maybe coming from there, coming back this way. Um, it's a southwest wind, which isn't ideal for this spot, but it's not really blowing, so I'm guessing our scent's probably just going down the tree right now. But, uh, yeah, we can see her be quiet, and hopefully we can get a deer on camera. The only goal we have for today is just to see a deer in the stand, and, uh, maybe even shoot one. That's the, that's the hope, but, yeah, come along. Should be great. We have a lot of new, uh, Hunters, or I would say a lot of new, but we have two new hunters in the group now. We have Austin's girlfriend, she started hunting, bow hunting this year. Uh, Buck James started. So, there should be plenty of content to make. Just gotta see if we can get them. But, yeah, come along. Hopefully, we see something here fairly quick. Seven. So we are in a legal shooting light now. Got it in here really, really. Took us a long time to set up in this pine tree. But this is a spot where I called in this two bucks last year. And I ended up hitting high on one. But you guys want to check out that video. It'll be on the top right. But um, yeah, today is a very special day. Um, today we got Buck Jam in the stand or in the saddle. And uh, this is his first uh, bow hunt and saddle hunt and first time ever, I guess, deer hunting. 
and with his, uh, his new bow we just recently set up. But we're just gonna. It's a nice cold morning, there was frost on the ground. Had a deer blow on us, but I think she caught her wind on the downside. But it was real early this morning, but I think, I think they're gonna start moving here. Pretty good, they didn't see any deer on the way and driving in or anything, so I'm hoping they were better down all night. But basically this spot in front of us, we have a really thick bedding area. And they like to use this open patch right here and cut across, find us in these pines. They like to walk along the pines, go into the other piece of timber and on this piece of public, but yeah, hopefully we're not looking for nothing crazy. I have my bone in, this, in the tree too, but I don't think I would be able to shoot. But yeah, we're just going to sit here, be quiet, watch the woods wake up. Fingers crossed, hopefully Buck Jim gets his first one, first sit. But we'll just see, hopefully we just see a deer in the sand in general, but yeah, come on, should be a good time. Super quiet morning. He saw one early, early, early on, way up the field, walking, and then those two just came out from the thick stuff. So at least they're on their feet, but it's still early, it's still really early. So we, there's still a chance Buck Champion can get the shot.
Sağ ol. Basically what happened was, so I just pulled out the grunt call, did like a couple of grunts and I was like just shaking the tree here. Like it seemed like <clears throat> the buckle were making a rub and just see if something would come in. And then right after I got done, turn around, boom, doze right there. They came out to like check out what it was. But it sounded like he hit it, which he did, but he he just, after looking at the footage for a little bit, so I couldn't tell where he hit it. But there was like some hair and a little bit of fat on it. So he just completely grazed the back of it, just barely. Like she ducked it, but his left and right was perfect. Try again another day. Maybe this afternoon, we'll see.